So um, Nagote Refinery, you know, really, really coming to life, and then you know, Nigerians are still excited, even though we are not sure how it's going to affect the, the price at the end of the day. So what more complementary roles would it, would it, would it play? Because uh, we'll now be asking, so what are the derivable benefits for the common masses on the streets? Uh, we have the Portal Court Refinery, which first um, phase had been completed, and other refineries that are also being planned to you know, come up uh, stream uh, towards the end of the year. So what is the big, overall big you know, goal for Nigeria or Nigerians you know, on the streets? Okay, thank you so much. Um, the first one is the employment opportunity. As we speak, uh, even though that refinery is not going to meet up with the 650,000 I mean, you know, peak production capacity, uh, as we speak, Nigerians in thousands are working on that facility. And the more production capacity attains, the more um, will be the need to employ Nigerians. That's number one. Number two, Nagote is under obligation. I heard the last time uh, that he's already supplying, uh, you, know, you know, because when you are doing production in a, in a refinery, uh, you, you, there is that production or generation of electricity too. Even though it may not be at commercial because a refinery will generate its electricity. Mm. So there, I heard that Dangote is planning or he has started you know, supplying you know, the yeah. host community. Uh, then the supply is not going to be, you know, it's, it's likely going to be free of charge. Mm. Uh, then even if, the, even, even if the money is to be paid, there will going to be a drastic reduction in that. That's number two. Then number three, uh, you know, there is no way Dangote Refinery will start production and we are able to get Dangote Refinery to supply the local market that will not affect the price of petrol. And we all understand, you know, how much role price of petrol plays in the overall economic value chain in the country. The transport fare, the cost of this and that and everything. So the, the Dangote Refineries, if we get it to produce and supply the local market, would drastically affect that. Then the third one, we have to be the economy of the country. Uh, we all understand how the economy of Nigeria is intertwined uh, with, um, um, you know, petrol. Uh -huh. So then the third one would be the benefit that, you know, small-scale industries will, will get. We all know that, um, you know, electricity supply is not sufficient anywhere in the country. Then because of this, a lot of small-scale, I mean, uh, uh, you know, industries, a lot of those that are participating in that depend on the, I better pass my neighbor. So if they get the price of petrol at a lower, a, a lower price, uh, I think it's going to affect them and affect even those that are seeking services from them. So in looking at it, head and tail, is something that is good and would definitely affect uh, the country. Like I 